Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be going shopping at Scrooge McDuck's store. But first, I wanted to actually do things a little bit backwards and ask you a question. So I have been decorating loads of different rooms and areas of my valley and I'm very very happy with all of it however some of the rooms are a little bit out of date now it's been over a year there have been additional items that have been added uh, you know to each collection and there's been different features like wallpaper being able to be like different ones on different walls and so for example my Cinderella room hasn't been updated for over a year now and again lots of new things have come um, in my like actual room tour for my Cinderella room I uh, didn't even have mannequins in here. This was something I added a little bit later as well as this big giant window in the back. I did it during one of my other shopping videos. So this room has changed like a lot since I made it. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it would be good to kind of uh, expand. So let me know what you think in the comment section below if you guys think I should redo a room or create a new one. So basically, if you're, you haven't been following along with my speed builds, don't worry. Just put in the comment section what you would like to see, what, what collection or uh, what kind of room. Like if you'd like to see, um, I mean, I've already done like a mushroom cottage room or basically cottage core uh but if you'd like to see like another one or you know maybe you want to see like an easter kitchen or something like that then i'd be more than happy to uh to actually start doing some of the requests from the community so feel free to just throw in any ideas that you have in the comment section below and i will see if i can make it happen um for february or march so yeah i figured i would ask you guys and see what you guys thought so now we are inside scrooge's store Hopefully it's a decent one uh, for three thousand five hundred and twenty. I don't know what that green item is behind. Hmm. I actually haven't been able to refresh my store at all today, so I don't believe I have whatever the heck that is behind. Um, again, it's super green and I feel like I don't own it. Uh, but we'll start with this: the tile top counter from Ratatouille. It goes for. Uh, 3,520. I actually I used this inside of my Princess Tiana room and Princess Tiana is coming in 2024. So uh, that is I'm um, something I'm really looking forward to. But I used this actually in her room. I made her like a little kitchen. And uh, yeah, I, I used this counter. And I thought it looked really pretty. So I think it's more than just uh, like it could be really good too if you're doing like an Easter theme or something like that. So yeah, just some different ideas. So it is new. I'm going to guess Mickey and Friends because kind of based off of its appearance, this is a very Mickey and Friends look. Um, lately, I've I've actually collected a couple of Mickey and Friends items that I didn't uh, do for a shopping video. So I'm actually going to show you guys that today and uh, see what you think. Uh, so I got here the basic dresser. Let me know if you've seen this item before. This is the first time and I've refreshed my store probably like... I mean, the combination of years of shopping now and refreshing my store a lot. I've probably done it like... I don't know, my guess is like a thousand times. So I know that seems like as if, but it's true. I refresh my store like these days. I refresh it a lot. 2024, um, I did it a lot in December too of 2023. Like I've done a lot of refreshing lately. Um, pretty much every single day today, obviously is an exception here. Uh, but I've been going a bit crazy on that because new items are so difficult to come by now for me. I kind of have to or my shop gets really boring and it doesn't make it very fun for decorating. So uh, 1320 for this, uh, it's mine. It's new and that's awesome. Uh, next up from the Lion King collection, we have the clay vase and this goes for 2040. I'm gonna pass on it. I own a couple of those. They're my Lion King room, I think. Or at least one of them is. Uh, the Sleek Blender, this goes for 1035 I'm going to pass on that too. Uh, for 900 the Book Pile from the Sword in the Stone. I love the Book Piles. There's so many different ones that I've found over time. Um, and I always buy additional ones from Scrooge. So I always have like a massive stock of the books. <laughs> and then right here for 306 from the Encanto Collection, we have the Floral Wall Lamp. I guess I'll go ahead and buy that one. I actually used that in Mother Gothel's room. That looked really, really good. Really good. Um, for six eighty nine, we have the beige single bed. I'm good. I mean, you could probably do something really unique with all these like beige items. You could probably do like a very neutral kind of room, very calming, and uh, maybe actually that gives me a couple of ideas. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, 
The ideas are flooding. I love that. Oh, wow. For 540, we have a large, lavish, navy blue owl couch, which you can basically guarantee almost every single time you're in your store, there's going to be a couch. Like, I'd say, like, nine out of ten times, there's going to be a couch like this. Yeah, so I'm, I'm passing on it. Again, it's just, it's crazy. They need to make the couches a little rare for 8,800 from the frozen collection we have a long dining table it's great for all your sweet treats at christmas Bye -bye. i mean or really any time of year like that could be great for like easter or anything really okay so i'm gonna head in and i'm gonna be kind of going over my mickey and friends collection today um so there's gonna be loads of items that you see here if there's anything um that looks kind of cool to you that you wish you had you can feel free to pop you know a description of it in the comments i love reading what people um either are missing or want from this collection or what they have and like their favorite item is so yeah any video basically just puts up i just love reading those kinds of things it makes me so happy um and two it kind of gets like a feel for like items and stuff like maybe there's a mickey and friends item that i don't have like this one today like if somebody said oh yeah do you have that like dresser that green one for mickey and friends i've been like what green i would have been like sure so mickey and friends though i guess i kind of forgot about this but they have like the christmas tree that's pretty grand and I mean you could really do something cool actually with that green dresser now for like Christmas and stuff since there's a lot of red blacks and uh and greens it's sort of like yeah you can really get into the vibe of of the holidays so this is obviously we you know just had Christmas like two months ago so actually less than two months ago and uh yeah I'm kind of I'm done with Christmas for the time being but yeah it could be something very very cool to kind of um you know do next there later this year i guess to say next year later this year i won't miss out on on all the holiday fun um so this item this i've i've only seen in my shop like two or three times tops um out of all the refreshing i've done this one's pretty rare um and then do, 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 do. okay these were actually they were a gift over the holidays from dreamlight valley so glad about these because these are the long um version of the Christmas window that I initially had in my first year and I've literally was waiting forever forever and ever and ever um to see this item in my shop I had refreshed my shop a lot um it, like I think it was at the start of November I was pretty much hardcore into it and then also too after we got the update December 5th I was like I was like oh my gosh like I'm sure they're gonna make this item in the shop or whatever it, like spawn some more it didn't and I was losing my mind but we got it just in time for the holidays so I was so so happy so so happy this is actually Mickey and Friends it to me it looks a lot like the Wreck-It Ralph ones um I recently got though this red oval rug not very exciting and I actually started making a video and I scrapped it uh, because I was like mm, okay so you know, like, I mean, how excited could you guys get over a Mickey and Friends rug? But it's a perfect time for me to share this with you guys now. Um, and also, this item right here, the cozy armchair. Like, I just saw this too. Like, Mickey and Friends has been hardcore in my shop the last week. And, but again, it's just like, I was like, do I do it over this little black and red chair? I passed on it. But to today, I mean, with this, I'm so glad that this came up and I was like, you know, I was recording anyway, so I'm not scrapping this one. Um, yeah, so this is this is awesome that I've got to go over these items and, and share uh, a lot of my findings. So for, for past days of shopping that I didn't make content. And this actually works perfectly. Perfectly. I love it. Um, this does make me think, though, does my Mickey and Friends room need a revamp? Like, I feel like a no... I want to say I did it, I don't know, maybe like June or something. Maybe I did my Mickey and Friends room. I think. I don't know. But I feel like it wasn't one of the first ones I did. Could be wrong on that, though. I remember Rapunzel and Cinderella were like at the very, very start of um, my adventure. So it was Toy Story. Uh, Mickey and Friends, I think I hesitated on the room for a little bit. 
But just because it wasn't winning, I was doing community polls a lot on YouTube. I haven't done too many of them lately, just here and there, just because I've had my own kind of creative ideas or people have been asking stuff. So I was like, okay, I can just like, you know, create some of these kinds of things. Um, But it was obviously before the wallpaper could be on different walls because all of the walls are the same. And that is, I don't know if that's something I would, I would do now. But this wallpaper is really cute, really catchy, and definitely something that can be on, on, uh, yeah, on all the walls like I have to say this is probably one of the rare wallpapers that I would actually love it like in a room on all the walls like this is awesome so I made a Mickey and Minnie room they share I figured that was kind of like you know one of those like ships vibes and I thought it would be fun but now I'm kind of going like there's so many great items for Mickey and friends that is it that are in this room and I don't know how many more I could actually fit uh, but maybe it deserves a second room Maybe I'll have to keep an eye out maybe for like uh, to do a kind of Mickey and Friends sort of themed room inside one of the uh, the premium shop, you know, houses and stuff like that. There's none in there this week. Uh, actually, well, none that are new, I guess I should say. Uh, the Mushroom Manor. So I've I've done them uh, two or one. I might have only done one room actually in the Mushroom Manor. I want to say I've done two, but maybe it's only one. Huh. But anyways, um, I have done a room in there. And that was like, I think it was really cute. I decorated the outside of it in and around Halloween t- as well, too, just to kind of like, you know, do something kind of fun and different because nobody was doing anything with this house except like, you know, fairy type of stuff. And I was like, let's do something different. So I made it the haunted mushroom house, right? So something different right uh but yeah the items right now in february like gingerbread rabbit and candy canes i love the gingerbread rabbit but i would have loved him so much more right around the holidays so 2024 i've I've already got a jump on some of the holiday items which i'm pretty happy about but yeah all right so let's uh let's go ahead here and change my outfit up into something mickey and friends related what do we have here Oh, you know what are the best ones? Are the cute little jackets? Oh my god, I got gloves on. I've got all kinds of craziness on right now. This is wild. You know what I could have done for the sport stream snaps? That wasn't that long ago, but I could have totally used these shorts. Oh my god, that would have been hilarious. Wow. Princess going fishing, I guess? Not really what I was going for, but that's okay. Let's see this look. Actually, I might have this work, actually. Without the skirt, it is, like, totally throwing me off. And maybe the gloves are doing a bit of that, too. But we can change that in, like, one second. Um, Actually, I think I'm going to go with silver because there's, like, some silver detailing, like, on the belt. So that might work better. I really hope one day they add nail polish colors to the valley it is something that I have wanted now for for quite a bit of time like hands down I feel like it's something that uh should be added sooner than later but that's just me I mean we have like all these other you know makeup details and lips and eyeshadow it's like why not nails I think that would be fun for all to play around with but yeah it's just an idea So let's throw on some mini ears. Mind you, mind you, the only issue with that is, is that if you look like at the cuffs on the jacket, you can just see like a tiny bit at the bottom of the screen. They're like a pink and then these are red. So I would actually like to see also too some classic ears like this, but with um, like, I don't know, the details, you know, like get it, get it, get it right there. I think we could go with this, these ones though. These would be really cool, I think with, with this and then I think if I change up the hairstyle to be something adorable something cutesy actually I kind of like that I know it's the hair is in a a bun but I mean if you look at the back of this jacket it's just like you kind of want to wear your hair up and not put a backpack on because it is just that cute like the attention to detail on this particular jacket is like Um, I did want to change my earrings. I think I'll put the Mickey and Friends ones on. They're really, really cute. And then I think I can wear a bracelet with this. 
No, I cannot. Apparently, it's just with the shirt, though. So with the jacket, you can, but with the shirt, you can't. I don't understand that. That is a very weird detail. But, I mean, this probably isn't, like, the cutest outfit in the entire world. But it's definitely different, and I have never put this together. I put a lot of outfits together, and this is this is the first time this one's uh, this one's come out. So, yeah. Anyways, I think that pretty much uh, sums up my video for today. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave it a big Mickey thumbs up uh, before you head out. And I will see everybody for my next Disney's Dreamlight Valley video. Or maybe if you're lucky, you will catch me live. So check my community tab to find out out the this week's schedule. Bye.